So we had a really good question in the forums this week from a user who was trying to evaluate or try to get some ideas on how to approach uh, building a branching scenario off of a simulation map. Now, this is actually a really helpful map for a few reasons, right? Uh, the colors, first off, made this really easy for me, who really wasn't familiar with this project, to really get up to speed and understand how the simulation was working, right? Because I can see that there are three choices pretty much on, on, on every slide. And based on those choices, you just go to one of three slides. So you make a green choice, which is the best choice. You're going to come over here. Yellow choice, you're going to come down here. And then a red choice is going to take you over here. Made this really easy to follow and recreate without having any knowledge of the content or of the project. So a couple of things, a couple of ways we could approach this in Storyline. I, I did build out a variable version because I just wanted to see in case there was a point value that was actually driving the branching decisions. Turns out, really, no points, no, no uh, scores, just simple triggers that are based, that are going to direct the learner based on their choices. And that's where I recreated that sim map right here. So if I zoom out, this is the, uh, the map. It's really based on a single slide that I just duplicated, I don't know, maybe 30 or so times. And that is, just jump over here to show you. based on a single slide, maybe a question, maybe a scenario, something, and then three choices, a good choice, a great choice, an okay choice, and then a pretty poor choice. And for each of those, we have a trigger that just says jump somewhere. So this was my initial template. The reason I set this up with the unassigned triggers was that I could duplicate this slide, you know, 10, 20, 30 times, and then quickly come over here and reassign where it needs to go based on each of the choice, right? So here's my other slides. You can see some of the stop slides here, the red ones, some end slides here in the dark blue. But once I had this framework set up, it was just a matter of duplicating this a bunch of times. And then for each of the slides, I would just rename it and then I would um, branch to a slide. So here's what it looked like. So when I look at this map, this slide five, six is actually the very first slide. So maybe there was one through four, they were just linear slides introducing the project. But at five, we actually had a branching decision. First choice, you make the best choice, we're going to take you to slides 10 to 11. And you can see that right here, right? Five to six, I'm gonna jump you down here to slides 10 to 11, medium choice 15 to 16, poor choice 20 to 21. So I select it, I go find my slides 10 to 11, same thing with the red, we just wanna come down here, and you just make those choices. Storyline automatically starts to add the branching and the relationships for the slides. So after I, you know, so here's that first one, here's the uh, the good choice, medium choice, and the poor choices over there. I open up this next one and reassign each of those triggers. It took me about 20 minutes to put the whole thing together. It probably took me longer just to kind of customize the slide, but um, really simple to do with basic triggers and articulate storyline. Of course, we do have the option if we wanted to work with variables and actually count scores, where we could actually assign an, a, a value, right? So set a total value to 10 points, one point or five. But uh, just love the flexibility, love the options that we can um, really approach these types of projects with. But in this case, where you're really just redirecting them, you have a really detailed uh, sim map, triggers makes the most sense. And it really creates that really nice, that hierarchy of the uh, slide project for you. So hope that helps.